Welcome to Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. We're going to give you some tips and strategy advice to help you get the most out of Chapter 4 Battle 2 in World 3. Since your health won't reset after each battle, hidden mushrooms are a great resource since they can boost your health and help you succeed. Here you can see that there's one mushroom in plain sight and you might find another one hidden within the area. Before the battle begins, make sure to review everything. Here, the objective of this battle is to defeat eight enemies. You can see four enemies now, so you know that there will be more spawning later. The closest dangers are the two smashers. These will be the first ones you'll want to take out. Then, further back, there's a peekaboo enemy. Given the height on the map, you'll also want to put some bonus height and leverage the damage bonus in the skill tree for all characters. Think carefully about which characters will be most effective in the upcoming battle. For example, Luigi has long range, which makes him an ideal choice to battle peekaboos. Rabbit Mario, on the other hand, has attacks that deal damage in a large area and can impact many enemies at once. Be sure to choose effective weapons against all enemies, like smashers. Each weapon has its own benefits. For example, weapons for Mario and Rabbit Mario that inflict honey and stone damage are ideal for trapping enemies in place. Then, follow up with some ink damage from Luigi to prevent an enemy attack. Once your characters and weapons have been selected, you should customize your skill tree accordingly. For example, for Mario, Hero Sight and M Power will maximize the damage output for Mario and the rest of the team. Dash and Stomp will increase damage dealt during movement. This is important since Smashers don't attack you after movement-based damage, giving Mario an advantage. For Luigi, his Steely Stare will increase damage output and be useful when chased by Smashers. Upgrading his High Ground bonus will increase damage and his Pipe Area of Movement will help you escape Smashers. For Rabid Mario, upgrade his Explosive Dash to damage several enemies during his movement turn and deal more damage too. On top of it, you can increase Rabbit Mario's area of movement to ensure reaching further enemies. A general tip for most battles, Mario's M power should always be used in the first turn. This will benefit all of your heroes during your turn. Always remember that you can inflict damage by moving. For example, use Dash and Stomp with Mario and Dash and Double Team Jump with Luigi to reach high ground and escape the central battle. You can also use Double Boom Dash with Rapid Mario. You can truly change the outcome of a battle with movement, so make sure to always keep this in mind. Luigi is very efficient when standing on higher ground, especially once you've improved his high ground bonus in the skill tree. But be careful not to stay too long in the same spot. Be strategic about your reacts to protect your teammates. For example, you'll always want to activate Luigi's Steely Stare before shooting a Smasher. Luigi will attack the Smasher a second time when he moves after his initial attack. By doing so, you'll prevent major damage on your teammate. Another useful strategy in battle will be the use of the Tacticam on enemy ears appearing on the ground. These ears indicate which enemy is going to spawn and where to position yourself for protection. By checking the Tacticam before moving, Rabid Mario is able to move to safety, avoiding huge damage from the two Smashers that spawn near him. Leverage the Smasher's chase to shoot at a Smasher that's far away to make it come closer. Bring the Smashers even closer with Rabid Mario's Magnet Dance, and then use Dash and Hammer attacks to eliminate three Smashers at once. Got him. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, available now.